Hi and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be discussing a medication known as atorvastatin, also known by its brand name Lipitor. In this video we're going to be covering several different things. First of all we'll look at what atorvastatin is and when you might take it. We'll then look at the common strengths of tablets. Then we'll move on to how and when to take it and what to do if you forget to take it or if you take too much medicine by accident. Fourthly, we'll look at common and important side effects to be aware of. We'll then move on and look at what you need to know if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. And finally, I'll answer some commonly asked questions. But just before we get into the main section of the video, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already for new medical education videos, which I publish every week. So let's start off with covering what atorvastatin is and why you might take it. So atorvastatin belongs to a group of medicines called statins, and it's usually used to lower cholesterol if you've been diagnosed with high blood cholesterol and to prevent heart disease, including heart attacks and strokes. Your doctor may also prescribe atorvastatin if you've got a family history of heart disease or long-term health conditions such as diabetes or rheumatoid arthritis. Now, atorvastatin in the UK is available on prescription only, and it comes as tablets, including chewable tablets for people who've got difficulty swallowing. So now let's move on and discuss dosages and strengths. So atorvastatin comes as 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, and even 80 milligram tablets. The usual dose for adults is somewhere between 10 and 80 milligrams a day, and the exact dose that your doctor will prescribe will depend on the reason why you're taking it, your cholesterol levels, as well as other medicines that you're taking. If you're unsure of the dose, then speak to your doctor or the pharmacist for advice. So how do you take atorvastatin? Well, normally you should take atorvastatin once a day. You can choose to take it at any time as long as you stick to the same time every day. This prevents your blood levels from becoming too high or too low. Now, sometimes doctors may recommend taking it in the evening, and that's because your body makes most cholesterol at night. If you're not sure when to take your medicine, again, ask a pharmacist or your doctor for advice. Now, just as a practical point, you can take atorvastatin with or without food, but taking it after food may help if it makes you feel sick. You should try swallow atorvastatin tablets whole with a drink of water, but if you've been given chewable tablets, you can chew these. So what should you do if you forget to take your medicine? Well, if you forget to take your dose of atorvastatin, please take it as soon as you remember. If you don't remember until the next day, then skip the missed dose and take the next one at the usual time. If you often forget doses, then it may help set an alarm to remind you. You could also ask your pharmacist for advice on other ways to help you to remember to take your medicine. And what about if you accidentally take too much of the medicine? Well, taking more than your prescribed dose of atorvastatin is unlikely to harm you. But again, talk to your pharmacist or your doctor if you're worried, or if you take more than one extra dose. So now that we've discussed the practical aspects of how to take atorvastatin, as well as what to do if you miss a dose or take too much, let's go over some of the possible side effects. Now, like all medicines, atorvastatin can cause side effects in some people, but not everybody gets them. And different statins affect different people in different ways, and some side effects may improve after the first few days as your body gets used to this medicine. So in this section, I'm not going to cover every possible side effect because you can find these on the information sheet inside your medicine pack, but instead I'll be covering common and serious side effects. Now, in terms of common side effects of atorvastatin, these typically happen in more than one in a hundred people. And these include things like feeling sick, which is described as nausea or indigestion, as well as headaches, nosebleeds, sore throat, cold-like symptoms, such as a runny nose, blocked nose, or sneezing, constipation or flatulence, which is more commonly known as farting, as well as diarrhea. Now, serious side effects of atorvastatin are rarer, but they are important. So in the following events, you might need to stop taking atorvastatin and contact 111 or call your doctor if you get unexplained muscle pain, tenderness, weakness, or cramps. And that's because this can be a sign of muscle breakdown and kidney damage. You may also need to seek urgent medical care if the whites of your eyes turn yellow or your skin turns yellow, or if you've got pale poo or dark pee, because these can be signs of liver problems. 
Also, if you get a skin rash with pink or red blotches, especially on the palms of your hands or the soles of your feet, this could be a sign of something called erythema multiform. If you've got severe stomach pain, this could potentially be a sign of acute pancreatitis, or if you've got a cough, feel short of breath, and you're losing weight, that can be a sign of lung disease that can be precipitated by the atorvastatin. If you think that atorvastatin is causing side effects or serious concerns, and they're making you want to stop taking it, then talk to your doctor first. These side effects may be being caused by another problem and not the medicine, and your doctor may suggest lowering your dose or changing your medicine. It's also possible in rare cases to have a serious allergic reaction known as an anaphylaxis to atorvastatin. In this case, you need to contact emergency health services immediately. So who can and who can't take atorvastatin? Well, most adults and children aged 10 years and over can take atorvastatin. However, for some people, it may not be suitable. And I've included more information on conditions or cases where atorvastatin may not be suitable in the description box of the video. However, as a brief overview, you should tell your doctor if you've ever had an allergic reaction to atorvastatin, if you've ever had liver or kidney problems, you think you might be pregnant, or you're already pregnant or breastfeeding, you have lung disease, you drink large amounts of alcohol, or you've got a condition called phenylketonuria. So moving on now, let's discuss atorvastatin and pregnancy. So atorvastatin is not recommended during pregnancy. And if you become pregnant whilst taking atorvastatin, you should stop taking the medicine and tell your doctor. You should also talk to your doctor if you're trying to get pregnant. Whether you continue to take atorvastatin or not will depend on the reason for taking it. It may be possible to switch to an alternative medicine that's better during pregnancy. So let's move on now and just discuss atorvastatin and breastfeeding. So it might be okay to take atorvastatin statin whilst you're breastfeeding, but you may also be advised to stop taking the medicine until you're no longer breastfeeding. Again, your doctor or pharmacist will help you decide. That's because it's not known how much atorvastatin passes into breast milk, but it's likely to be a very small amount. It's unlikely to cause any side effects to the baby or affect their cholesterol. And finally, let's move on in the video to talk about some common questions that people often ask about atorvastatin. So the first one is, can I drink alcohol? And the simple answer to this is yes, you can drink alcohol whilst taking atorvastatin. However, drinking a lot of alcohol regularly might increase the chance of you having side effects with atorvastatin and liver problems. The next common question that people ask is, is there any food or drink that you need to avoid? Well, again, it's best not to have too much grapefruit juice whilst taking atorvastatin. And that's because drinking a lot of grapefruit juice, and by this I mean more than a litre a day, can affect the way in which this medicine works. That's because it increases the level of atorvastatin in your blood, and again, this increases the chances of you having side effects. So in summary, the key take-home points are as follows. Usually, you'll take atorvastatin once a day, normally in the evening. The most common side effects are headaches, feeling sick, diarrhea, and cold-like symptoms. Remember, don't take atorvastatin if you're pregnant. And if you take your medicine as your doctor prescribed, your cholesterol levels should drop within four weeks. You should keep taking atorvastatin, even if you feel well, as you will still be getting the benefits, because most people with high cholesterol don't have any symptoms. And remember, try not to drink grapefruit juice. Too much of it can increase the level of atorvastatin in your blood, and this can increase the risk of side effects. Once again, I hope you found the video useful, helpful, and informative. If you did find it useful, please like it and leave me a comment in the comment section below. If you've got any questions, please also let me know. Thank you again for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And until next time, bye.